B'tachin for life, Shir 476, Monday, Parshas Lech Lecha. We are explaining the way we have to view an opportunity to do a mitzvah, or chas v'shalom, an opportunity to do an avera, to hurt somebody else. And we explain that if the Rabbeinu Shalom put us in a position, that we can either chas v'shalom hurt somebody, or help somebody, that means it's an opportunity that HaKadosh Baruch Hu doesn't want us to say, let Hashem help him. If HaKadosh Baruch Hu wanted to help him himself, he would have done so. The reason why he put us in this position is for our benefit. That we have an opportunity to throw a rack at somebody's front window, and we're going to control ourselves and not throw the rack. If the Rabbi Shalom wants his window to get smashed, he'll make sure it gets smashed. He doesn't need us to be the messenger. He gave us the opportunity that we should be able to control ourselves and not throw the rack. And the same thing in the opposite scenario. If a person knocks on your door and asks you for money. If the Rabbi Shalom wanted to pay for his chasna, he would have done it himself. But HaKadosh Baruch Hu wants to give you the opportunity of tzedakah. He wants to give you the schus. He wants to give you protection. He wants to give you bracha. And the way you're going to get that bracha is by making the right choice to help this person. And you can't just say, let HaKadosh Baruch Hu help him. It's your responsibility. It's your opportunity. And that's how you have to view every situation of a mitzvah or an avera. You have to pretend as if HaKadosh Baruch Hu doesn't exist. If HaKadosh Baruch Hu put me in this situation, I can't just leave it up to Hashem. I can't just try to hurt somebody and say, let Hashem protect him. If Hashem doesn't want him to get hurt, he won't get hurt. HaKadosh Baruch Hu handed you the Bechira, which means when it comes to your choice to do a mitzvah or chas v'shalom and avera, you have to pretend as if there's no Rabbein Shalom chas v'shalom. And you have to look at it as if you have free will. And therefore, if you're going to throw the rack, his window is going to get smashed even if HaKadosh Baruch Hu was not Geyser. Now, of course, that's not really true. But that's his business. That's not yours. That's not your job to calculate what HaKadosh Baruch Hu's cheshpainis is for somebody else. You have to be busy with the way HaKadosh Baruch Hu relates to you. And if you're standing in front of somebody's front window, and you have an opportunity to throw a rock and smash it, you have to look at it as if if you wouldn't smash it, it wouldn't smash It's you that can chas v'shalom break somebody's window. And therefore you have to control yourself and not break it. So it shouldn't get broken. What's the truth? The truth is that if HaKadosh Baruch Hu wants it to get broken, it will get broken. And if he doesn't want it to get broken, it won't get broken. But that's not the way you can look at it. You have an opportunity. You have a choice. And the Rabbi Shalom wants you to make the right choice. And that is the concept of Bechira. When it comes to Bechira, when it comes to a choice to do the right thing, or Chas Hashem to do the wrong thing, you can't calculate HaKadosh Baruch Hu. You have to tell yourself that if you're not going to do it, nobody will do it. And the Rabbani Shalom wants you to be the Shliach. The Rabbani Shalom wants you to be the one to do it. That's how you have to view every situation of Mitzvah or Chas Hashem Avera. We will, Amir Tzah Hashem, continue this discussion.